Hey everyone, Digital Reg here, and we are going to talk about the new Huawei MateBook. Thank you for coming back to Digital Reg. And we have a lot of things to talk about today about the new Huawei MateBook. As you have already known, I already have a Huawei MateBook Pro which I bought two years ago at the height of the pandemic. Now having reviewed MatePads uh, for the past couple of years, Huawei decided to send me the newest Huawei MateBook and you know, uh, see if, uh, I would, uh, if I would like it as well. It's very similar to its predecessors. Uh, same, it almost has the same height, same width, and uh, almost has the same weight. But what's new about it are the internals and the software, which we are going to discuss in a little while. The uh, MatePad's display is at uh, 10.4 inches. Uh, the screen technology used here is IPS, not AMOLED, uh, but it's okay. And its resolution is 2000 by 1200. Uh, screen is okay. Uh, I, I kind of enjoyed well, watching, uh, watching stream, streaming videos on the MatePad. Didn't have any, uh, any issues with it. Like the other 10 inch Huawei MatePads, uh, these, are, uh, these are the type of tablets that can easily slip in, into your uh, messenger bag. It's not heavy. It's, uh, it's, it's very lightweight, only weighs 450 grams. It's not too cumbersome to hold, uh, even for uh, long hours of, uh, you know, long hours of uh, watching or playing, uh, playing mobile games. Uh, this is actually the right size for me and the right, uh, right weight. Uh, this one comes in matte gray, so this has a darker shade of color. There are a couple of controls here on the uh, Huawei MatePad. You have the power button on the uh, left side of the tablet and you have the volume control on the upper left part of the Huawei MatePad. Underneath is a SIM card tray which means it can accommodate a 4G SIM card and a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. What I like about the MatePad is its speakers. It, it comes with four-way uh, speakers uh, tuned by Harman Kardon and they're very loud and clear. So uh, sometimes I don't even have to use my uh, my Huawei FreeBuds because the speakers are already you know very clear enough uh, for me to uh, to listen to especially whenever, whenever I stream, uh, stream videos on the MatePad. So unlike the previous Huawei MatePad, uh, which I reviewed two years ago, uh, Huawei has now sent me a uh, Huawei M Pencil 2 and a Huawei Smart Keyboard. In my previous review, there is no Smart Keyboard or Keyboard Folio that is available for the Huawei MatePad. What I recommended back then was to buy a, uh, uh, a third-party Bluetooth keyboard. Now it's a good thing that uh, Huawei now has decided to come up with a smart keyboard uh, for the uh, Huawei MatePad, for the new Huawei MatePad. Uh, now the thing is, um, the Huawei MatePad doesn't have a magnetic, uh, doesn't have a magnetic back or uh, sides, unlike the Huawei MatePad Pro. So uh, this keyboard, so this smart keyboard doesn't have any magnets on it except for the uh, for the base so you have to attach the Huawei MatePad uh, with, uh, on these latches and you're good to go now my worry about these latches because they're made of plastic uh, you know due to wear and tear uh, if you you know if you remove and place back the uh, MatePad once in, uh, once in a while, it might break the, the latches, so you be better be careful with that. You just turn on uh, the Bluetooth connection and turn on the... Uh, what, I, well, what I realize is the smart keyboard has an on and off button here. So you uh, slide, it, uh, slide that button and you, you'll be able to pair this with the Huawei ThinkPad. Now with the M Pencil, the second uh, this is the second generation of the M Pencil, uh, M, Pen M Pencil 2. In order for you to use the M Pencil 2 with the uh, Huawei MatePad, 
you'll need to connect the USB cable that came with the uh, M pencil. Now charge it for a while, then you'll be able to pair the M pencil with the Huawei MatePad. Um, the newer features are found on the software side, and uh, what uh, what you will see here is with M pencil two. You just have to double tap on the side of the pencil and two new functions will show up on the Maypad screen. These would be Take Snippet and Annotate. So Take Snippet is you'll be, you can select which part you want, to, uh, you want to cut and save as an image for reference. And the other one is Annotate where um, say if you're browsing a website and uh, you saw an article that uh, that you need that you need to annotate you just have to double tap on the end pencil select annotate and then uh, write something uh, uh, write something or encircle the, uh, the, the the sentence or the phrase and then uh, write some notes on uh, on top of it now compared to the compared to other uh, tablets with uh, the same functions I think the the end pencil to uh, Still, it's still in its early stages. It still lacks some uh, some features which I already used to with the other brands. So I hope that Huawei will be able to develop this more and add some more features to the M Pencil 2. Aside from the two new options on the Huawei Mate Pencil, there's now a way to write on the Mate Pad which converts your handwriting into or into text, right? Say for example, you're filling up a uh, web form and you don't want to use your keyboard, you, you want to use uh, your M Pencil to, you want to, you want to use your M Pencil to, to write instead, write on it and then it will, you know, change change your scribbles into text. It's not perfect, but Huawei is getting there. I, I've observed, uh, using this feature, I've observed that uh, there's some uh, some minor errors with the with, with the with the transcription, but I hope that Huawei will be able to improve that uh, improve on that as well. Now let's talk about the internals of the Huawei MatePad. Under the hood of the Huawei MatePad is a Kirin 710A processor. Now this is very surprising for me because the the previous MatePads that, that I've used, especially the the older Huawei MatePad. That was what uh, that was powered with with the uh, Kirin 810 processor, which is, you know, uh, just has the right amount of power uh, for the for the tablet. Now the Kirin 710A processor, it's, it's actually quite an old processor, and uh, I remember that the last time uh, I used a Huawei MatePad, it was a MatePad P10. It has this same processor. Uh, having used that MatePad, uh, MatePad P10, I know it's a bit underpowered, but you know, uh, for that price range, it's actually good enough for uh, you know for for the target market. Uh, I for a cheaper tablet. But in real world usage, the Huawei MatePad is very usable. Honestly speaking, it's very usable. I've been using it for a week uh, for my daily tasks. I use it for blogging. I use it for for web browsing, use it for streaming, uh, use it for video streaming. For for work productivity, the the Huawei MatePad can get the job done, even with this uh, quite old processor. The Huawei, the new Huawei MatePad now has Harmony OS 2. So uh, we have a different interface now with the with the desktop, which I actually find prettier compared to my Huawei MatePad Pro. However. It doesn't have the MUI desktop, which I always use with the Huawei MatePad Pro. Well, I think uh, the reason for this is the Huawei MatePad is not a pro. Uh, it's not a pro version, and I believe that the one with, and I believe that only the MatePad Pro would have the MUI desktop option. So, if you would like to have that desktop experience you won't be able to get it with the Huawei MatePad. But uh, nevertheless, it's still a very useful tablet because you can still multitask. You can still have like two uh, multi uh, two windows at the same time. You can work on two two apps at the same time. Uh, one window on the left, one window on the right. You can assign uh, which apps to uh, to work on these two 
or these two windows. So uh, we can still get some work done uh, even without the MUI desktop. Uh, because this is a new Huawei MatePad, which is part of the new line of Huawei smart devices, this Huawei MatePad can now talk to a Huawei MateBook. Now this is where my MatePad now this is where my MatePad Pro is getting jealous because as of today, I am not able to connect my, my Huawei MatePad Pro with my Huawei MateBook. Uh, my Huawei, uh, I believe that uh, the reason I believe that the reason for this is because my Huawei MatePad Pro is not yet on Harmony OS, and I'm not sure if it will ever get a Harmony OS update. But for the new Huawei MatePad. It's able to connect now with my uh, Huawei Mate 13. All I did was update the PC Manager. The Wa All I did was I updated my Huawei PC Manager on the MateBook 13. And uh, after upgrading, the option now to connect a tablet, aside from a Huawei smartphone, is now uh, is now visible. So I was able to pair. My, wow, my new Huawei MatePad with a MateBook 13 and I have, uh, now have three more options. One is to bear my Huawei MateBook 13 to the Huawei MatePad or the second one is to extend the screen from, uh, from my Huawei MateBook 13 to my Huawei MatePad or you can simply col uh, collaborate with each other so you can transfer files from one device to another. It's so awesome because it's now possible to do these uh, to do these uh, functions between a uh, mate, between my MateBook and my MatePad. So instead of buying an external monitor, I can now use my Huawei MatePad as an external monitor for my uh, Huawei MateBook 13. Now, when it comes to gaming, we only tried one game here, and that was Genshin Impact. You know. Uh, it's a, uh, one of the most popular games uh, around. So uh, I had my niece try, uh, try playing the uh, Genshin Impact on the new Huawei MatePad. Well, according to her, uh, the Huawei MatePad was able to run Genshin Impact at the lowest graphics at uh, 30 frames per second. So uh, with a 30 frames per second, gameplay was smooth, but that's the best that you can get. If you go further than uh, than the lowest graphics, if you, if you try to go medium, then it would uh, uh, the lags would be uh, would be evident, and you know it, it could be frustrating for uh, for you to uh, to play the game. The storage of the Huawei MateBook is at 128 gigs, with a memory of uh, four gigs of RAM. Like, but like what I said earlier, there is a micro SD card slot, so we can uh, insert a micro SD card in the uh, SIM card tray and store more multimedia files on your expansion card. The battery capacity of the Huawei MatePad is at 7,250 mAh. Having this size of a battery can help you last up to uh, two days or even three days. And uh, the MatePad supports 22.5 watt charging. So if you have that kind of charger, from zero to 100%, it can charge a main pad in two and a half hours. So that's our review of the new Huawei main pad. Unfortunately, we don't have a price of this yet, but uh, stay tuned to DROnTheGo.net or follow the uh, Huawei Philippines uh, Facebook page as uh, I'm pretty sure they will update the price of the new Huawei MatePad in the next few days. So if you like this review, please don't forget to uh, hit the like button and click on the subscribe button as well. And please don't forget to click on the notification bell so you will be able to know if we have a new video coming. That's it for now and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe everyone.